Hi, I'm Hector, and today we're going to talk about hue, saturation, and brightness in Procreate. <laughs> you know, but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, isn't that where we go up here and then tap there and at the bottom slice stuff around? And then it ends up looking kind of cool? Something like this? Yeah, yeah, that's it. But there's a whole lot more to it. So let's hang out just for a few minutes and do a little deep dive into Hue, Saturation, Brightness, or HSB. So why do we need this? Well, it's probably best to show you. All right, let's take an illustration like this. Now, all we want to do is just add a little color just to add just a little bit of interest. Now, how do we do it normally? Well, we probably go up to this icon up at the top. That's the color icon. Tap it once and choose Classic. And now let's choose a color. Now we can use the sliders at the bottom. There is the hue, saturation, and brightness. So slide those around. And this looks kind of cool. All right, let's, let's do that one. Choose a brush, start painting, and we don't love it. Let's do a two finger tap to start over. Go back to the color icon, tap that, and choose a different color. Yeah, maybe, yeah, something like this. And we don't love that one either. <laughs> so we start, start over again. Two finger tap and so on and so on and so on until we find something we like. But you know what? There's a better way of doing this. Here, let me show you. So now let's do a basic layer adjustment in hue, saturation, brightness. We're gonna work on the same illustration but before we begin, start with confirming that we're on the right layer. So in my case, it's layer six. In fact, let's duplicate layer six because all the changes we make are gonna be final once we save the gallery. Now let's go up to the top, to the adjustment icon. All right, now choose Hue Saturation and Brightness tool or HSB. There we go. Now, notice the HSB interface. Down at the bottom, you're gonna see the hue, saturation, and brightness. So, let's start doing some coloring. Change the color a little bit, and the brightness, and yeah, a little bit more on the saturation. Yeah, that looks good right there. Now, if you start seeing HSP as a creating tool rather than a color correction tool, things are gonna get really interesting. And, um, you know, I did exaggerate my adjustments. That way you can see it really well on YouTube. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, done with this. Well, one thing people do is that they start making their changes and then everything changes. Now, sometimes that's a good thing, but when it's not, why is it doing that? Well, that's because HSB is set to layer by default. Uh, how do we fix that? Well, by activating one of HSB's superpowers, the pencil mode. Yeah, with pencil, you're gonna be able to control color because we're gonna be brushing it in. Yeah, uh, you know, but there's a couple things you kind of have to keep in mind because this threw me off when I first started doing this. Uh, one is that um, once you tap on hue, saturation, brightness. You see it, you see it right here, right in the middle? Well, you wouldn't know this, but this is actually a menu button. And I guess you could say that your hint is, you know, this little triangle right there. So you can tap anywhere here and it's gonna open up to a little menu. And that's gonna give you a choice between layer and pencil. Now, why pencil? Why isn't it a brush? I guess what Procreate is telling us is that this is where you go if you want to use your pencil. And because we're definitely going to be using a brush for this. Also that, did you notice that the icons, they have like a star theme? So there's the, there's the adjustment icon right there. And here you have the brush icon. They have those stars. Also, before we begin, make a duplicate. Right? Because once we save the gallery, these changes, they're going to be yours. You bought them. <laughs> Best practice number one. 
Okay, so now we're going to go to pencil. Now, remember that pencil up there? It has that star theme. You can go ahead and tap it and choose a brush. I usually like to do an airbrush and soft brush. And you can play with your size and opacity. So, you know, choose whatever you want. And then once you do that, you're going to go and down to the bottom. You see right there where it says brightness? It slides it to the left with something crazy, something like 10%. And I, I know that's pretty close to black, but this is going to make sense. Uh, and I know, yeah, yeah, it looks like a mess. But this is one of HSB's superpowers. That brush stroke you just made, it's live. <laughs> now what that means is you're going to be able to go down to the sliders and slide to get that color that you're looking for. And the cool thing is that this is in real time. So go ahead and play with the hue, saturation, and brightness. Okay, if this is what you're looking for, you're done. But if you got some, you know, some harsh lines, you know, you can use a smudge tool. Yeah, go ahead and just tap it. Tap on smudge tool like that, boom. You see how that now has the stars? And if you tap it once again, you can choose a brush. And I use, under airbrushing, there's like a soft blend. That's one I like to use. And um, once again, size and opacity, choose that. And just go back to your illustration and just start smudging stuff. Yeah. And then once you're done, if you like to kind of just take off just a little bit of that color, you can go to eraser. Tap that. And you see, it has stars too. Now go ahead and tap it once again and look for a brush. And yeah, for me, I, I'm using airbrush soft and, you know, use your, you know, the opacity and size, you know, choose that. And then once you do that, start taking just a little bit off. Yeah, I like that. All right. Perfect. You're done. Now let's go to best practice number two. Now, while in HSB, at the bottom, go ahead and just start making some color. Start sliding left to right to that hue and, and how much of that color do you want? That's going to be your saturation. And are you going to want it light or dark? That's going to be your brightness. So go ahead and just play with that. And yes, it's going to affect the entire image, but it's okay because we're going to paint in that adjustment. All right. Okay, now once you're happy with that, just get a notepad and a pencil and then just write down what those percentages are. You're going to have three of them. One for the hue, one for saturation, and one for brightness. So write those down. So now let's reset. Just go ahead and just tap anywhere on the screen, but don't use your Apple Pencil because it doesn't work on that. Now when the menu pops up, you can go ahead and use your Apple Pencil to tap on reset. There you go. Now everything went back to its original state. Once you've done that, now you're going to go up to the top where it says hue, saturation, brightness. You're going to tap there and choose pencil. Once that's done, you're going to get your notepad. And I like to write in the percentages, but you can also slide to it. So on hue, whatever your percentage was, just write it in. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to do it for all three of mine. There we go. And now I'm going to start brushing. But before I do that, if I'm happy with my brush, my size and my opacity, I can go ahead and start just brushing it in. And once you're done, if you want to play with the smudging and the erasing, you have those same options. So why do we love HSB? Because we can use it for a subtle or 100% change. We can use it on layer or we can brush it in. And what about those brush strokes? We can still adjust them because they're live. We just use the sliders below. Just don't finalize it by tapping apply or tapping on the adjustment icon. HSB is not a correction tool as much as it's a creation tool. Love this thing. Anyway, I hope you liked this lesson. And yes, there's a whole lot more to HSB and uh, tips and tricks 
They're coming up soon. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for hanging out. Gotta go.